Hey guys, I'm here at NAB and I just checked out the Black Magic booth plus some of their new announcements. So here is my take. The new IP converters, awesome. My use case for them would be dropping one underneath the stage, putting another one over by front of house, one ethernet cable, three inputs, three outputs. That could be confidence monitors, projectors, a video wall behind the stage. Uh, then you have inputs. So we could have cameras facing the audience coming all back to the front of house with one ethernet cable. So that is awesome. That would work. I asked them a lot about delay and latency and I watched a latency test and it was pretty good, pretty negligible, honestly. So uh, I'm very excited about their new IP converters. They're not gonna come out for a little bit, maybe June, maybe a little bit later. They're still doing some tweaks. However, very excited for those. We'll definitely be picking up a couple of those IP converters because ethernet is a lot easier to run. However, they do not work with the new ATEMs and doing you know, a signal from them straight into the ATEM without putting converters in between. That will not work. It's not the same protocol. It's not the same technology. But they said, just wait. It probably is coming to their switchers later. So picking these up would not be a horrible idea. Other things I really liked, their new ATEM Television Studio 4K8, I believe it's called. Uh, it does, in fact, have 10 individual assignable aux outs. I wanted to confirm that for myself. It is not an ISO recorder. It will record one program 4K feed though. So, you know, give and take what that is. But that became a lot more useful with those 10 aux outs. I could actually see myself going and bringing that to a conference because now I have enough aux outs for not only my cameras, but confidence monitors, plus my projectors, plus any auxiliary feeds I need to throw myself into. And I have to check again, but I don't know how many of those aux outs can actually be a multi-view, which means you could have your table with two or three monitors and have one of them be a multi-view, a preview and a program, nice and big, give other multi-views to your audio guy, et cetera. So super powerful switcher there. Might have to pick one up, although I do love my 2ME HD Constellation. Now with the new 12G 4ME Constellation for about $9,000, already was playing with 8K Constellations for $10,000, so it doesn't seem like that big of a leap, but hey, a lot of people were asking for the 4ME version. Having two super sources is really, really nice, so I see the need. A $1,000 difference, I don't know if a lot of people are gonna make the jump, probably just stick with their 2MEs. Maybe start stacking 2ME constellations, add a video hub in there. Plus, if you're sticking with 1080p, you're looking at around, what, like $5,000, $6,000, $7,000 versus nine, 10. So up to you guys, but Blackmagic is definitely giving us all the tools we need to build whatever system we want. The booth was awesome. Everyone's super nice. Can't say enough nice things about them. So that is the Blackmagic booth here at NAB 100 2023. I also want to mention there was a bunch of DaVinci Resolve happening and a whole bunch of other stuff that I didn't talk about with green screens and all the cameras and whatnot, but these were the things just I was interested. Side note.